Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Just got here a Iveco daily to look at. It's just driven down from a couple hours away down to see me because it's got a DPF issue. So let's go and have a look at what's wrong with it. Okay, we're inside the vehicle. Engine management light on. Uh, we've got that triangle on over there. Uh, we did just have a message a minute ago saying DPF cleaning with a smoke symbol. That seems to have gone away now. And Right, so it says something about continue driving DPF cleaning obviously but it's, it's been driving up and down the motorway and it, this, the light's not going away and of course it's driven a couple hours to get here so if, if the DPF cleaning was working it would have worked by now so I'm going to get the diagnostic machine plugged in and see what's going on. Okay so just setting it up, uh, it's an IV called Daily. I want to look at the engine really. These Ivecos, I I'll tell you a little bit of a story about these while we're here. I bought at one point I bought a three of these. Probably eight years ago, ten years ago, something like that. I bought three of these. Similar shape, I think no, actually it was the older shape to this, yeah. And my god, they were absolute nightmares. Electrical issues all over the place. Um Okay, so apart from the canvas false there we got for the transmission it's a manual transmission so I'm not sure why we're getting canvas uh, issues there um, particle filter differential pressure sensor not plausible inverted pipes hmm Let's ch we'll check that with a manometer in a minute and then we have particle filter lubricant lubricant oil check oil contaminated oh, okay so the oil's contaminated due to fuel dilution. We're not getting like a full code here, are we? 245562 OBD. Let's see what that comes up with. OBD code P2455. Okay, so pressure sensor, a circuit high. So it may have a faulty pressure sensor. Uh, let's go to data stream value let's look for the differential pressure there we go we don't have the differential pressure voltage anywhere uh, might be in another word like pressure sensor voltage no nope. okay so we'll just have a look at that okay so we've got 50 51 millibars let's give it a little tap of the rev so it looks like the pressure sensor is working because it's rising there. So what's going on? Um, looks like we've got an oil dilution level. Um, so that means that the oil level is gone above the full full uh, level. So we've probably got too much oil in the van, and that is now stopping it from doing our, uh, its own regeneration. From what it looks like here, st straight away to me is we need to either change the oil or remove some of the engine oil um, as it, for now and clean the DPF and all should be well I think it's just happened of because of oil dilution basically which happens over time when it regens you get a little bit of oil dilution or the oil maybe the oil just hasn't been reset and the vehicle is just assuming that it's got oil dilution because it's it's never been told it's had an oil change maybe like that okay I got the bonnet open here I can see that the pipes are definitely not inverted because one is a slim pipe and one is slightly fatter so either we've got high pressure in this pipe or it's just a generic code that's just chucking up uh, for no reason because clearly these look like they're in the right area so we'll get a manometer on these and see what the pressure is here and the pressure is over here and then we'll uh, go from there right, so I can notice that even though these have got the clamps on them you can you can still just slip them off so let's get a a gauge on here and check what pressure we have so here's the first pipe we've only got 1.8 millibars of pressure on that one so we haven't got high pressure here that's confusing the sensor okay so it looks like we've got around about 25 on here but we're getting sort of 51 52 on there so 
maybe that pressure sensor is um, maybe it is faulty I think this one let's go back to the live data for that okay so we definitely got an issue there because 38 millibars and it is not even connected so we definitely got an issue with that sensor there yeah now just to confirm there we've got the engine off and we've still got 38 millibars of pressure so let's go back and out of curiosity we can't get a hold of a sensor right now i've just just tried to call around for one uh we'll try and call a few other place with places just to check but well, let me see if we can do a uh, calibration on that sensor if we have the option delta pressure sensor Event of replacement delta P center. Let's see what happens. So that's not fixed that one anyway. Okay, so one thing that another thing I can mention is it's had an oil change last week, he said. And what I'm thinking is that they haven't done the oil change reset, but I'm gonna we'll do that now as well. And I'm also gonna check once this is done. Sorry, there's glare on the screen. Once that's done, I'm just gonna check the level of the oil as well, make sure that it's not risen. Okay, so I can see the oil level is right up here. You now it should be within this dipped area, but it's reaching just about here. Now I don't know if that's due to a genuine oil dilution or has it just been overfilled on the service okay so i managed to get a new sensor by driving over to luton so we've got a new sensor from bosch to get fitted in so we checked the pins on the plug here we've got 5.5 volts and 5 volts on that one so we've got both feed pins there working we've got 5 volts here 5 volts here and a good earth in the center so let's get that connected up so that's the message zero particle filter clean incomplete with the smoke symbol there back on now now we've got a good reading here on the dpf pressure sensor let's give it a rev up and see what pressure we got so around about 180 millibars of pressure you can see there that maxes out at 3000 rpm is increasing there slightly okay so what I've done now is I've removed about a litre of oil from the van okay now back over to the DPF pressure sensor I'm gonna remove this hose here and we're gonna put some cleaning fluid down here to get the DPF pressure right down so now I'll connect up my pressurized gun with the DPF cleaning fluid squeeze the trigger we get that in this is connected to a compressor at 130 psi there Okay, now all of that cleaning fluid is in there, we're going to let it sit for five minutes. So while that's doing, I'm going to go to special functions on here. Uh, see if we can do the oil change. I don't know, I can't remember if I've already done that or not, but we're going to do that now again. We're going to do particle filter replacement as well. That'll recalibrate the, the DPF values. Now we're going to go back. Clear these fault codes. Let's just go back and have a quick look at them. Right, we've got these codes here. So the only two codes we're concerned about here are these two OBD codes uh, for the particle filter pressure uh, sensor and the oil contamination. These are the ones now the vehicle has got a flat battery. Um, where is it? So yeah, we've got this one. That was the original code. Obviously, I've unplugged the sensor to put a new one on, so it may have triggered off a separate code. Uh, that's that code right there. So we're going to clear those codes and then just read to see if they've all gone. Speed sensor, speed sensor. So we've still got all the old speed sensor faults. Okay, so we'll just start the vehicle up, let it idle for a minute. So once any of the excess fluid has come back out of the tube, we'll reconnect that back to the pressure sensor. Now we're back in the van, we'll hold the revs. Well, it's accelerating further than 3000 RPM now, so we'll try and hold that there. So we 
we now have 79 78 millibars of pressure which is good but that may come down a little bit more after a few more minutes of revving it's a bit difficult to get it to stay in one position there the revs right so about another 30 seconds or so in we are down to 57 millibars at 3000 rpm that is that's perfect pressure there and idle we are sitting at around about eight to nine millibars now the fluid's only been in there a minute maybe two minutes at the max while the engine's been running one minute or two minutes fluid's been in there about five minutes now we can see on our test drive we have full power back so we're not in limp mode anymore and of course we're gonna have a lot of smoke that will clear away in about five minutes okay so we're back from a short test drive and we'll just let the vehicle idle for another five minutes or so and that smoke should die away now so that is basically it we are all finished on the iv daily and i'll see you on our next video